pretend that you're standing in front of window and this glass is very blurry. You just see a blue color, yellow, a green. You can't describe each and every item what it is. Until the eighth grade, I was able to see a little bit, to just move around by myself. But after that, it got more serious. If I want to go from place to place, I always needed someone to stay with me. I was looking to be more independent, to go wherever I want. And that's all I thought about, not to wait for help from someone, just to be myself. Thank God that there is Winston. Before we started the Israel Guide Dog Center for the Blind here in Beit Oved, the situation was terrible. If a blind person wanted to have a guide dog, the only solution was to send the people overseas, mainly to the United States. And even if somebody received a guide dog in the States, when they returned home to Israel, different setups, different society, different sidewalks. Today, we are the only internationally accredited guide dog training center in the Middle East. We serve guide dogs for every person in Israel that needs a guide dog. May the person be Christian, Arab, Muslim, Jewish. A person is a person. I care about your needs. A guide dog mobility instructor actually trains the dog and then trains the client afterwards, teaching them how to use the dog. Usually it takes a lot of time for the client to gain trust and work the dog in an efficient and flowing way. I think what's special about the Israeli Guide Dog Center is the intimacy. I feel very close, not just to my co-workers, but also to my clients. Salim is a young man. He lives in an environment which is not used to dogs being around. A lot of people surrounding him are afraid of dogs, actually. And he's, you can say, a pioneer in his environment. In my community, in Nazareth, they think that dog means a bite, or a dog is used to guard. Winston is the smartest dog you've ever seen. The world Dog in, in Hebrew is Kelev, and it means full of heart. The Israel Guide Dog Center for the Blind is among the first guide dog schools in the world to use positive reinforcement as our training method. We don't use guide dogs as tools. They are partners. The person and the dog needs to understand each other's needs. They need to read each other, to believe and trust each other. It's about relationship. To trust a dog, it feels somehow strange because you're putting your soul and yourself and your body on your harness in the palm of your hand. I think a lot of guide dog users see the guide dog as a kind of a magnet that lures people in to talk, to ask questions. And I think it helps them making new friends, making new conversations. There's a lot of people that are really curious, they want to ask, to know what, what is going on out here. I start by saying that this dog is my eyes. I can't see, so this dog works with me to be my eyes. People tell me that it's not a change, it's a re revolution. I hear people say that before I had a guide dog, I didn't feel that I was part of society. Now when I walk in the street, everybody sees me. If these dogs can help anyone, it not only benefits them, it benefits their families and society as a whole. And that's good for Israel. I want to continue, but where I get, I don't know. I've started with a guide dog. I don't know where it ends. The sky is the limit. Please welcome Winston and his people 
Salim Sharif and Noach Braun. Winston and I are happy to be with all of you here today, and our friend Noah. Thank you for the warm reception. Winston and I look forward to meeting you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I told Salim there are only 200 people in the room. Now we know. <laughs> And I reassured Winston that all these 18,000 people love Israel and dogs, so don't worry. <laughs> I first came to America 30 years ago when I wanted to learn how to work with guide dogs. Today, we are proud to partner with schools in the United States and around the world. The friendship between America and Israel isn't just a political one. It is based on the values that we both hold dear, that people like Salim, when given the right tools, can achieve anything. We look forward to continuing our partnership and thank all of you for the work you do. Thank you so much. Yeah.